Hello, this is a comparison between the Sailor King of Pen and Blue Urushi finish to the Miku Carvey on Vermilion Urushi finish. As you can see, they're similar size, they're both Urushi finishes and similar price point, so I decided to compare them. And they both have cigar style shapes, as you see, and they're very minimalistic pens, which is a Japanese piece of art. As you see by the clips, the, they're the clip on the Sailor King of Pan, the finial on top of it, is actually unscrewable, whereas you can't do anything with the Nimiki Car Royale. And they both have very stiff clips. The Nimiki has branding on the clip, but besides that, there's no branding on neither of the pens. It's just very sleek design. In terms of the nib and nib section, the King of Pan has a little bit thicker nib section. It doesn't flare out as much as the Nimiki Car Royale. Whereas in terms of the nib, you see the King of Pan has a bigger nib and it's a volume trim compared to a gold trim. The Namiku Carriel, it says broad nib, but I actually got it grounded to a fine nib. Whereas the Sail King of Pan is a medium nib. They're both plastic feeds and they're just amazing craftsmanship on those nibs. So you see the Mount Fuji and the Namiku Carriel, the Namiku logo and the Sailor logo and details on the Sailor King of Pen. In terms of how it holds, the Sailor King of Pen is an ebonite body, so covered in Urushi, so it's a little bit lighter, whereas the Miku Carvel is brass body covered in Urushi, so it's a lot heavier. So you will definitely feel the weight. Even though the Sailor King of Pen is bigger, it weighs less than the Miku Carvel. In terms of how they are on the cabs, you see the Miku Carvel is a little bit longer. And to give an idea of the biggest size of these pens, I'll show you in comparison to the Pi Custom Urushi, which is an actual oversized pen and a Mumble Mumble 49. As you can see, these are not small pens. These are pretty big pens in the overall scheme of the market and grants big prices as well. The they're both cartridge converter pens. Sailor King of Pen uses the Sailor converters, which I do not like. It has this Inquino thing, which is useless. And whereas the Nimiki Car Real has a Con 70, which is a pump style converter. It's easy to get ink in, but it's a little bit difficult to clean. But you can clean easily with a syringe, but it's still a little bit more effort than usual converters. Now let's go into the writing. In terms of writing, Sailor King of Pen is a 21 karat gold nib, medium nib, and compared to the Mickey Cup Royale, which is 18 karat gold nib. The difference between these two is that Sailor has this pencil type feedback, whereas the Mickey Royale has a regular feedback that you can actually feel if you have any like steel nib but it's not a bad type of feedback. But in my opinion, the Sailor is actually a little bit more smooth, but has more audible feedback. Whereas the Mickey Carver Real has more physical feedback, not as much audible feedback. So they're both a little bit smooth, but I think the Sailor King of Pen is a little bit more better in that sense. It's a little bit more smoother with less physical feedback. And they're both a little bit soft nibs. Not soft in the sense that they're like going to open the tines up that much. It's just that it gives you the soft feeling, which both of them do. But people think Sailor is like in similar to King of Pan's softness, but it's similar to a 1000 softness, but it's not. In terms of verse writing, it's okay, but it's not really meant for that. There's no line variation that much, unless you really push the nib, but it's not really meant for that just gives slight softness. Now, in terms of wetness, the Sailor King of Pen is relatively wet, but it's not that wet. It keeps in mind it's a medium nib compared to a fine nib of the Mickey Crown Royale. So, it's a little bit wet. Now, in ter the Mickey Crown Royale, in terms of writing experiences, it has feedback, and it's not as much audible feedback, but it's still very joyful to write with. It depends on the paper too. I'm testing this on the Tomoe River paper, 52GSM, and they both feel really nice on it. 
but it depends on what paper you use. If you use it on like a royal paper, it's gonna feel terrible in my opinion. This feels the best on Tomoe River paper. And both, for both of these, I'm using the same ink, Graphic Fabric Castle Carbon Black. And this is a fine nib, which was ground down from the broad nib. I like this nib. It's nice to write with. It's a, more of a note-taking nib for me. It's quick to write with. You don't have to worry about spreading times or anything. Because the Sailor King pen is a little bit softer. Maybe a little bit, just a little bit softer than the Mickey Car Royale. But the Mickey Car Royale is not stiff by any means. It has like similar softness to M800s where you still feel some softness. It's not like a stiff nip like a 1911 large or something like that. And reverse fighting is actually not that bad. And it's very smooth actually when you write with reversely. There's a line variation. There's not really any line variation with this. In terms of wetness, this is a, it's not actually that wet. I had the flow adjusted. It's a little bit more flow, it's a little bit more wet than it used to be when I got it down to find it, but it's not too wet. It's similar wetness as the Sailor King pen. As you can see, there's some line range you can get from the Sailor King pen, but I don't use it that way. I just like the slight softness that the nib provides, which makes it very smooth and enjoyable to write with. My problem with the Sailor King pen is the cartridge converter system. It's just terrible because it has an ink window for no reason and just makes cleaning difficult because you have to, you can't really put in a syringe that easily. And as you can see, this is some vibration and I still enjoy this nib a lot. Whereas the Mickey Cry Reality is no line vibration at all. It's a stiff nib with slight softness that gives you an idea of you're writing on a nice, piece but I still enjoy this nib. I use this nib for note taking more often than not and it's good for writing really fast because you don't have to worry about spraying times or anything like that and the Namiki Recover Royale the Urush feels really nice. Now let's get into pros and cons of both of these pens. Let's start with the Namiki Recover Royale first. The 18 Carat Fur Nib. It is a great nib. I like the nib on this pen. It's very nice has more feedback than you would expect. It's a little bit more physical feedback. And the Namiki Carrera has a larger converter, so it holds more ink. It's a vermilion urushi finish. It's very nice, very pops. Whereas the King of Pen is kind of dull. Then the price. This is a very expensive pen. It's $1,500 retail, but I bought this $1,200 brand new. But at this point, that's still very expensive. Keep this in mind. We're talking grail price category, so both of these pens are luxury items. None of these are worth the price. None of them are worth the price that they demand. It's the price you're willing to pay. Now, next we have the king of pen. The 21 karat gold nib is enjoyable to write with. It's a little bit soft and it's just a joy to write with. I like the pencil type feedback occasionally, but I don't use this nib all the time. But I enjoy this nib a little bit more than the Mickey Car Real because it's a little bit of softness and it's a little bit more smoother than the Mickey Car Real as well. I don't like the feedback that the Mickey Car Real has. Next is the pencil type feedback. Some people like it, some don't. I personally like it sometimes. Then another con for this is that small converter. The converter is just a problem because as you can see, the converter has an ink window which is interferes with flushing the pen with the bulb syringe and it's annoying as hell as compared to this 1911 large as you can see you don't need the ink window you can just unscrew the barrel and you'll see how much ink you have left because you have to unscrew the barrel anyways to see the ink level so what's the point of this ink window it's just very annoying I'm pretty sure they did it for the demonstrator versions but that's just dumb as hell because they could just stuff that out in the demonstrator version as well it would just made it way better just like the 1911 large demonstrator which makes no sense to me next is the blue urushi and the thing with the urushi is that it's a dull urushi it's not as bright as the miki but with urushi you expect it to change color over time but real urushi is supposed to get lighter not darker so over time it's supposed to get a little bit lighter so you should see the blue a little bit more and the 
who doesn't come up as well in camera than it does in real life. Lastly, the price. There's a vast difference in price. It's a $1,900 retail pen. I actually paid about literally the same price for both of these. So I paid about $1,200 for the Sailor King of Pen, Urushi, and I paid $1,200 for the Mickey Cloud Rail. So I bought them at the same price. But when I, if I decide if I'm deciding to have one or the other for price point, I would choose the King of Pen because it's a bigger nib. I like the nib more, it just feels better. But there's still things I just don't like about the King of Pen, like the cartridge converter. I just don't like the ink window thing. It just makes cleaning a little bit more difficult for no reason at all. But if you want a nib that has a pencil type feedback and a big nib, then you can't go wrong with the King of Pen. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.